Oh, I think I know what oh, part this is. This? Did they move me? They did. What in the hell? Oh, yeah, there I am. Ashley! Yeah. Ashley, is Luis that you? Don't, do don't you Ashley. dare. Don't you dare do it. Oh my god, here we go. That hurts me. It's not like hurt you. How upset you are. Now, uh, now, see, uh, you gotta smoke. You gotta smoke? No, those things will kill you. Creepy. <sighs> this scene, Andre, is so good. Yeah. Hey, tidbit. This is the first scene me and Andre filmed together. Right here. <laughs> hey. up. Stop it. Quiet. 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 Hey. Hey. I'm B7. Guess you mean. Hey. Hey. His first line. Stop. That was that very good. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> This was so fun to film, man. Yeah. Oh, dude. Great. For so you, nice. for me, it was awkward as hell. <laughs> My HMC was getting in your face. <laughs> I had to, like, you know, move out of the way. It felt so unnatural. And I had to tiptoe. <laughs> no, it was fun, though. <laughs> was going ruthless on me here. I was like drenched in sweat after that because we did the swinging at me so like, much, yeah. way too many times. And he's like, keep, keep going, keep going. And he just wouldn't stop. And I was just like dodging, 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 dodging. I was drenched in sweat. It's like, okay, yeah, I think we got what we needed. Dude, look at that personality, dude. Look at that. <laughs> he's so Velcro suits can get kind of toasty. I always makes me sad. I like rats. They're so. I had pet rats. Well, they're no different than. They're so good. They're so cute. Girl. No! <laughs> oh my god. I had to. I'm sorry. Yeah, but yeah, the rats are probably infected, like the dogs. Yeah. Dogs. Yeah. 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 So are the chickens, I swear, because those things <laughs> get you. <laughs> Andre, tell them that you own a, a legitimate. Talk about your, your Red 9. Uh, yeah, I own a, a Red 9 from. Probably around 1916 it was made, so around the First oh, World War, I guess. Well, I was cleaning it. Let me see if I might have it around here somewhere. Okay, one second. For what? Actually, this is something cool about it. You got it there. Dude, that is... Yeah, there's the red nine. It's that... so polished. Oh my god. That is sick, dude. It's an antique for sure, so... How much is that worth? Um, this one in particular, I, I, I don't know why I found it such it's such a great discount, but I've seen them go for up to... It could go up to like $10,000, I've seen. Jeez, how badly do you want to give that to me? How badly? <laughs> I'll uh, take it. You know how long it took me to find it at that price? <laughs> uh, is that a no? No, I'm sorry. You can. I will lend it to you. You can. You can touch it. You can. You can. You can maybe smell it, but that's it. Okay. Better than nothing. Yeah, it is. You. You got it, Leon. I, my, my pistola to pistola. Thank you. I. W I definitely want to shoot it one day if I can. Yeah. Whenever, man. Whenever you're around, we'll go to the range. But it. I'll, but I'll it doesn't have like. It doesn't have the kick. Yeah, it that it has in this game. Like when he shoots that, it's like. A... That's right, and because it's a little bit bigger, I mean, it should technically you shouldn't feel as much kick as, let's say, one of those new, more polymery, more right because that's probably guns. That's probably heavy, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, because no, it's true because I've shot um, a Desert Eagle, which is a it's a 50 cal pistol, yeah. but the gun itself is so big and heavy that it just the the front barrel just weighs down the recoil and it, you really stay pretty accurate like on target yeah and i've actually seen you shoot uh you showed me that video of uh, you shooting 
Barry's gun. Colt Python. Nice, nice little uh, Colt Python. You shot it though with 38 Super, so that kicks less. I don't know if you noticed that. Whereas if you put a bigger, that bigger caliber of 357, which it actually, it's one of very, I guess, rare cases where you can put two types of bullets in the same gun. Yeah, I'm nerding out. Let's go. I have a bow. I've got an intel you requested on Louis Sarah. It seems he used to be a researcher for Umbrella. Umbrella? I'm sure he's in that bag to run. Yeah, he has it in for Umbrella. He's a little, he's a little butthurt about Umbrella. Here it is right here. Andre, why don't you read this? And you, uh, read it in Andre voice. Can you, can you read it? Okay. I need to get super kind of close because I... Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll do it. Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Luis... <laughs> Please don't make me do this. Luis Sarah Navarro. Interesting. Age 28, male. Sarah's name first appears publicly in a university student registry. No prior records have been discovered, including his birth certificate. Ooh. After graduating why. from university, he was employed by Umbrella's research division where he became a rising star who won favor among his peers. He was involved in the developmental the development of several common over-the-counter drugs, all of which were discontinued before ever reaching the market. See the attached list for details. A few years later, Sarah resigned from Umbrella and could not be located. After the Raccoon City incident, he's connected, I like it, uh, efforts uh, were made by law enforcement and the government to track down anyone with links to Umbrella, but despite conducting an extensive search, they were unable to find him. Ooh. Considering how well he evaded them, we are almost certain Sarah went to great lengths to disappear. In Huntigan's handwriting, common over-the-counter drugs. Do you seriously think that Umbrella would let one of their best work on some antacid or beauty cream? She's onto him. <laughs> I wonder what he was working on. Who, who knows? Who knows? I think I know. We'll have to wait and see. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Y'all get to see my baby. Oh my. <laughs> hey, did you get the boxes behind that house? Behind the house? Yeah, bro. Maybe. <laughs> I don't think I've actually been up this way. Um, Go to the right. To the right. No, 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 no. Back, back, back. Go over there. <laughs> behind, right. It's directly behind oh. you, bro. <laughs> there. Yep. there. Go over there. Yeah. And then take oh, I get it. Wow. Andre, have you memorized there you this? Go. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like almost certain that I was gonna get replaced, like, especially because it was my like I said I always go back to it because it's my first role. I was like, yeah, no, this can't. Like you guys need a professional. <laughs> Obviously, hey, you I looked at too, man. You're here because you deserve it. Yeah. In fact, I think Andre. I think Andre asked me up until the day of the release of this game. He asked me if they replaced him. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty much. How would they pretty do much. that? I'm like, no, did they just change my voice somehow? Like, like, I don't know, literally, I was just uh, in shock and disbelief always constantly. Yeah, but look, here's the difference, though, is you've got your training. So it's one thing to say, well, it was my first big job ever, but it's not like you just started there. It's not like you woke up one day and say, hey, I kind of want to be an actor, and you get this oh. role. That's not what happened. You trained. You put in the work, and that's the only reason you're here is because you put in the work and you deserved it. That wasn't a fluke. Exactly. It wasn't an accident, right. Andre. So yeah. you got to give yourself some credit there. No, no, I do. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Yeah, for sure. 